Live from downtown Bakersfield, 23 ABC News starts now. Convicted of killing her husband, Leslie Chance will see a courtroom once again as she goes before a judge for her sentencing. Plus, flames engulf an abandoned home downtown. We'll tell you who fire officials say was absolutely at fault. And a celebrity hairstylist from Bakersfield shows women how her dreams came true after starting her own business. Find out how she's working to change the stigma for nappy hair into a positive one. Good morning and thanks for staying with us for 23 ABC News at 6 a.m. I'm Melissa Flores. And I'm Mike Hart. Let's start things off with officer, uh, CHP officer Robert Rodriguez. He is standing by live with a look at your traffic conditions. Robert. Thank you very much, Mike. Again, happy Monday, everybody. Uh, still a good uh, good commute uh, here locally through Bakersfield that we are uh, on scene of an earlier crash. Again, this is going to be uh, in the Shafter area off of Central Valley Highway at uh, Orange Street. And it looks like a Shafter Police Department has taken over that uh, investigation there. And again, this is going to be a minor injury uh, crash there. But uh, unfortunately, uh, lanes are blocked and traffic is backing up in that area. So just keep that in mind if you're out that way. If you are going to travel your way out of town right now, so far so good. Your major routes are all open but again just please be careful especially in those higher elevations and watch out for icy roadway conditions that's my look at traffic elena we'll send it to you all right thank you so much robert yes chp and caltrans working really hard last night to keep traffic flowing over the grapevine after we get did get some snow falling and sticking at the summit stayed open all night but like you mentioned it's icy up there so as a result we do have a two hour snow and ice delay more so due to ice than snow but peak to peak mountain charter is delayed by two hours this morning giving us a little more time for some melt before they run the buses up there to those higher elevations the storm responsible for all this continuing to move to the south so you see over the last couple hours our storm shield radar and satellite imagery has quickly been tapering off, but it's left very cold air in its wake. Just 28 your morning low in Tatch, B26 in Lebec, 20 in Fraser Park. That site is colder than Breckenridge at 22. The higher you go, the colder it is and many mountain roads dealing with some slick conditions. But watch how we thaw quickly this afternoon here on the valley floor. 50s by mid morning, low 60s this is fairly seasonal this afternoon. Guilty of murder in the first degree, Leslie Chance is scheduled to go before a judge this morning for the 2013 killing of her husband, Todd Chance. A jury of 12 residents found the former Fairview Elementary School principal guilty of premeditated murder. 45-year-old Todd Chance, if you remember, was found shot to death in an almond orchard in August of 2013 in the northwest, just off Enos Lane and Noriega Road. Leslie Chance facing a maximum sentence of 50 years to life in prison. She is scheduled to be in court at 8.30 this morning. Also in court today, stabbing suspect 34-year-old Jesse Lopez arrested for a deadly stabbing that took place in Oildale in early February. Police found an adult male in the parking lot outside a smoke shop with stab wounds to his torso. That man later died at the hospital. According to court documents, Lopez claimed the stabbing was in self-defense, admitting it was wrong of him to stab the victim. Lopez faces first degree murder charges and is due in court for a preliminary hearing this morning. Elaine Rosa, the woman suspected of dragging a dog behind a scooter, is due in court this week. Rosa is facing felony charges of cruelty to an animal and a misdemeanor of failing to provide animal care. Back in January, a video surfaced showing a woman riding an electric scooter while a dog was being dragged behind her. That woman is believed to be Rosa. That video going viral throughout the community, prompting hundreds of people to call in the district attorney's office to press charges. She's due in court on Thursday at 8.30 a.m. This morning, city fire officials say the homeless, quote, absolutely are responsible for a fire in downtown Bakersfield. Crews called out to this abandoned home in the area of 25th and H Streets just past midnight. Fire crews say the house was known to be used by homeless. After crews made sure there was no one inside, it was determined the best course of action, they say, was to just let the house burn to the ground. Fire crews say the house was scheduled to be knocked down by the city anyway, anyway in the next week. A local entrepreneur is creating waves in Bakersfield, literally, and her talents are being featured on the big screen. 23 ABC's Lesla Gooden has more on this rising star and her message to other women. Nappy hair stands for natural essence redefined. Um, we have been able to align that with the mission of my business, which is helping women, specifically helping black women with their hair. There's a lot of struggles around um, their hair, and unfortunately that stems back for generations. So 
I've been able to just connect with women on a personal level and then provide them a product. Nappy Hair is a hair extension company that specializes in natural hair extension products for women, especially African-American women with coily, curly, or kinky hair, all while changing the once derogatory term nappy hair and reclaiming it as a positive one. Um, what someone can do today to start is to get clear on their intention of what it is that they want to do. And once they do that, then they've just got to start, figure out a way to start. The majority of businesses out here and entrepreneurs we're solving a problem so figure out a way to solve the problem owner and founder of nappy hair extensions Kendra Sandifer who many know her as KJ is a Bakersfield native who started the company back in 2011 she said she did it to solve a problem for herself and other women out there nappy hair has now become a global business and Sandifer makes it her mission to encourage other entrepreneurs to take that leap of faith and start their companies Sandifer when not working on the nappy hair company can be found sharing her journey and encouraging others at events like like the Manifest Vision Board Party, which was a Saturday afternoon dedicated to networking, creating vision boards full of goals, and encouraging female entrepreneurs. <laughs> At the Manifest event, Sandifer discussed financial literacy, branding, nappy hair products, and the importance of a business plan. One of the organizers of the event calls the nappy hair founder an example of women empowerment. She has such a zest for life, and I just admire her, her journey and her career and how she has grown her business from absolutely nothing to this huge company. Sandifer's products have been featured in several magazines and other outlets and used by celebrities like Oprah Winfrey, Serena Williams, and Lupita Nyong'o. She also shared with 23ABC the company's latest success, where nappy hair extensions appears in the latest feature film, The Photograph, where you can spot Issa Rae wearing her product. The photograph was, um, the, photograph was the first feature film that I know of specifically that I worked on, um, but I do have an, a show coming out in May um, where nappy hair will be on three or four episodes, so I'm really excited about that. I'm Leslie Gooden, 23 ABC News, connecting you. In other news, Houchin Community Blood Bank and the Kern County Raceway are joining forces for the Race In to Give Blood Drive. The bank and the Raceway Group are kicking off this two-week drive today at both Houchin Donation Centers. It runs through March 14th. Each donor will get a pair of tickets to the 2020 opening night at the Kern County Raceway Park, which of course is Saturday, March 14th. You can donate at either Houchin location on Bolt House Drive or Truxton Extension. For more info, go to hcbb.com. And the city of Tehachapi is gearing up to hold the blood drive and platelet drive this week. That drive happening Thursday from 11 a.m. until 3.15 p.m. on West D Street in Tehachapi. This drive is a partnership between the city and Houchin Community Blood Bank. For more information on how to prepare for your donation, you can head to our website, turn to 23com and a roving clinic will be traveling through the Central Valley this week, providing vision care services to migrant students. Starting today, one site will be partnering with the Kern County Superintendent of Schools to provide free eye exams and glasses to 500 students from Central Valley area school districts. The clinic is solely dedicated to serving students from migrant families. It will address unresolved vision care needs and bridge a gap for services for disadvantaged individuals. That clinic will be available today and for the remainder of the week.